Eric, it's also... Ugh, I've lost my words. Oh, there's Alex Shane. I'd better get on with my job. I can't keep moaning about lost time. I have to talk about that man there. He's the show stealer, Alex Shane. He's the self-proclaimed number one. Let's just say that if Guido had a car, it would have five reverse gears and only one forward gear. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. There's the ring. All the women around the ring. It's a virtual army against Jasmine and Guido. But wait, she's the back of the arena. There's Guido, the crowd more responsive to his call for cheer. Alex calling for a test of strength. Guido, never one to back against anything, is going to go for it. Alex Shane, noticing the height difference. This is nothing but mockery. Ditches Guido over the ropes onto that hard wrap. And there's Mr. Blonde. There is Mr. Blonde. Alex Shane distracting the referee as Mr. Blonde takes his right hand to Guido's face. It's Mr. Cheek. And Guido's got to feel the impact of that one. Blonde dumps Guido back into the ring. And he's, he's hidden under the ring. Mr. Blonde has hidden under the ring. What is he doing? You can't see the match from there, Blonde. Are you a fool? His short arm closed. I'm a no. A back kick has folded Guido in half. Guido. Guido was, was half his normal size, which isn't much, admittedly. Do you what it means? It's a signal to Mr. Blonde. Mr. Blonde is out and beating on little Guido. Now we know what it meant. Now we know what all the whispering was about. Mr. Blonde is the great leveller here. Alex Shane. Shane takes him up into a choke bomb. Lazy cover. Only a two count. Alex Shane needs to put more effort into his covers if he wants to get a three count there. Guido's not going out like that. Guido, of course, from the FBI, the full-blooded Italians. They had kind of a mafia theme, I suppose. In that case, Guido is probably a made man. And you know what you have to do with made men. You either have to make nice or make them disappear. Alex Shane has only one thing on his mind tonight, as he has on his mind any time. And that's making love. His target, probably Jasmine. How will that go down with the rest of Alex's women? I can't tell you, but I know for one thing, the firebrand, the Spitfire Cami, will not be happy with Jasmine's presence at ringside. Blonde, they're again doing his job. Guido is a broken man. He's a shell of what he was before, and it's all the result of Alex Shane's head of security. Shane now has Guido in a compromising position, pinned in the corner with that huge size 25 boot, pressing into little Guido's throat, pushing the air out of his larynx, pushing the air out of his gullet. Guido Jasmine is the enemy. She's gone down and something's come up. It's a fist into Alex Shane's pelvic region. Some people say Alex Shane thinks with that area. If so, he's got a headache. Assisted leg drop off the top rope by Guido. Alex Shane is staggered. He's stumbling. He flops into the ring. Look at him. He's like a bag of bones. A collection of muscle and sinew. And, uh, oh! 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 Again! Again! Somebody stop the pain. I may not like Alex Shane, but those boots are connecting with Shane's face with a hell of an impact. If Alex Shane had ordered any dinner, that would be the starter. It would be kick soup. Shane whips Guido into the rope. Mr. Blonde was there with a the chair. One night nice stand, one night nice stand. Three count. Alex Shane has beaten little Guido. Little Guido may have beaten Jerry Lynn in the past, 